The aerospace sector is one of the fastest growing industries in the U.S., employing over 1 million people. In December 2022, Avello Airlines partnered with Southern Connecticut's East Haven Public School District and the Boy Scouts of America Co-Ed Exploring Program to inspire the next generation of aerospace leaders. In the first program of its kind in the U.S., 35 East Haven, Connecticut middle school students embarked on an odyssey of discovery into the field of aerospace. The six-month Aviation Career Exploration Program took the students, the majority of whom had never been on an airplane before, out of the classroom, up in the air, and into the real world of aerospace. This is their journey. Every time I see a plane take off or land, it flies right over my house. And I'm always like, wow, I wish I could be right there when it takes off. I was younger. I wanted to join the Air Force because I've always wanted to fly. I never knew before the open house that there were so many job opportunities in aviation besides being a pilot and flight attendant. Being a member of the Aviation Explorers Program is extremely important. Aviation is a topic that is inspiring for me. Having an early start in aviation will lead to a big successful career in life. Because when I grow up, I would like to fly plane. I have never been on an airplane before, so this is a really cool experience. I have a passion around inspiring the next generation. And since we're in aviation, how do we inspire the next generation of aviation professionals and leaders? I learned to fly at the New Haven Airport when I was in high school. Got my license when I was 17 years old. You want to spark the interest at a young age. How fast do you think this airplane goes? It's important to expose them to what it can be. If you don't know what you can be, you need to be told sometimes. I want to see what's in the front, you know. I think that would be kind of cool to see how the captain flies the plane. I am a captain on the 737 here at Avello. I actually got into aviation from a school field trip when I was in middle school. It's really important to get them out here and get them involved and touching things and talking to us. That's what inspired me when I was a kid to become a pilot, is sitting up there in that seat and having the pilots show me the airplane and just spend that just rather 60 seconds change the whole outcome of my life. Never flown, I really want to fly though. The earlier you, you inspire them, the, the, the better it is to guide them and to keep them on a, on a path, uh, uh, going towards their, their goal. They visited the cockpit, they visited the cabin, they did a walk around the exterior of the craft, they met with TSA. The whole airport runs with so many different people. So we need people on the ramp, we need people that are gate agents. So it's really important that our youth understand that aviation is an option. Our mission talks about getting kids college and career ready, and for them today, I think we opened up a brand new aviation pathway. I think it's great what they're doing. Teaching kids all these things about aviation, showing them all these new jobs they can get. This is my original flight jacket from when I was in the Marine Corps. I used to fly on those CH-53s, that big gray one. And it's amazing to see who built them. And those people used to keep me safe. Today, we took our aviation explorers on a trip to Sikorsky and toured the factory to see how the helicopters are assembled. It's unique. It gives them an opportunity to see how what we teach in math and science every day is used in the real world. Instead of just learning like through a book, you actually get to do hands-on and see things in an environment. We saw like the parts that make up a helicopter, what devices make the helicopter, like how the blades are made. The blades, they were really big. Like I never knew they were that big. I think it was amazing. I was kind of like in shock the whole time. I like engineering and building stuff. So I thought it was really cool that we got to do this. They really got a good sense of how it takes a lot of different jobs to make one large thing happen. So today we traveled from Tweed New Haven Airport to Baltimore to give our kids an experience of flying, which many of them have never had before. The Baltimore flight was my first. Got it. Excitement or nervous? In the middle. I just never been on a plane. What were you thinking about? About this all night. I was excited and nervous. Even though we just went there and went back around, 
It was still cool to like experience. I've been waiting for this since like they said the, about the field trip. Not many kids have opportunities to just go flying. It's an opportunity for the students to see every step of the process, you know, to meet the people at the gates, go through TSA, boarding the aircraft, meeting the crew, how the whole operation comes together. We're in a fun field. Truly, we have the best office view in the entire world. Yeah, that was awesome. The views were amazing. One told me who I was sitting with that he's now a pro and is ready to fly the plane after his first flight. So we're excited for him and maybe he'll go into the field of aviation. Thank you. Exciting to actually be able to learn about space and to hear from an actual astronaut. Not a lot of people could say that they met an astronaut. This is Colonel Fred Gregory, and he's the first African American commander of the space flight. He's a three-time shuttle pilot. He's got 300 plus combat missions. He's got two distinguished flying crosses. I flew not only jets, but also helicopters. We were able to ask them so many questions. What type of training you had to go through to be an astronaut? Is there a limit on how many things you can bring to space? What was your favorite food here on Earth and in space? Barbecue it was dehydrated. And when we got to space, we rehydrated it, heated it, and it tasted just like it did on Earth. Have you ever been able to see the sunset or sunrise from space? We see it every 90 minutes. When you're coming back down to Earth, is it easy to adjust? How is landing the orbiter different from landing a commercial plane or a fighter jet? I'm going to flight school, and I want to go to the Air Force. What is the most important thing for me to focus on? They're looking for somebody who is well-rounded, who's a team player, but also can lead. Good morning, everyone. We'd like to welcome the Aviation Career Exploration from the East Haven Middle School here with us today. I'm going to a simulator that pilots get to use, but not every pilot gets to use the simulator. Pretty special. So I'm excited to figure out how all the things work. This is a huge deal, actually. It's pretty impressive. They didn't know what to expect, and I think they're just so overwhelmed and excited by how much awesome stuff they're getting out of it. Pilots learn the system, and then they go fly the simulators. They're getting an opportunity to take off, fly around, and land, and just see what a pilot in training experiences. Do a quick flight around the world, and then you guys will learn that it's flat. Everybody's been turning the world around. This is one of the final steps of pilot training. Once they complete this, they go to actual line training where they're flying passengers with a check airman. That's huge! Oh my god! I actually flew a plane before I had a driver's license. You know, I just remember the thrill I had as I finally uh, lived my dream, I get to be a commercial pilot. It's opening them up to brand new opportunities and possible future career paths that they may not even have known existed. Just even working on the simulators. All electric, they're not hydraulic. Um, and we're gonna close the door pretty soon and it's gonna go up on the motion and away we go. I wanna see how it like moves. Okay, now go ahead and pull back to that stick I told you. Pull the stick back. There you go, positive rate. You are flying a plane, baby. Now we're just cruising along. This is when you order coffee, and I'll take the chicken. So you gotta, you gotta just kind of wait for it a little bit. You got two red ones and two white ones, that means you're right on profile. That means you're on a three degree glide. Now I'm talking fast. You don't have to remember any of this. I just want you to know what's happening, that's all. You're doing a really nice job. Thank you. You like that? Ready for landing? Sure. Got this, kids. Uh, Come on, kids. Oh. Keep it coming down. A little bit. Keep it coming down. Set it down nice. Okay, we saved that one. Whoa, nice one. Woo! Pull up a little bit, a little bit. Woo! Kick the rudder rider. We're going to be out in the weeds. You got it? Yep. Save. Nice save. What a landing right there, guys. Took off and landed. Pretty I mean, much how it feels. That was super fun. Yeah, I really felt like I was actually flying the plane. If I could use one word, it would just be amazing. I, I don't know what else to call it. Thank you, Avenger! And I think the biggest takeaway from all of this was they walked away and said, I think I could do this. We're about to fly planes. I told all the teachers when you start hearing small planes flying around somewhere between 3 and 6 p.m. tonight, wave because it's us. We're at the Robinson Aviation Center and we're going to experience what it's like. 
to actually fly a four-seater plane. I'm a little bit scared, but I think it's gonna be really fun and I think I could do it. We need to leave our comfort zone too, to let our children grow and uh, experience new things and take the opportunities as they come along. I can't wait to get up there and just see what it's like. From the cockpit, you can actually see everything that's going on. She's gonna be your pilot. You gotta listen to everything that she says. They're actually getting a flight lesson. It's gonna be a hook potential career path from here. I have control of this plane and I hope I don't mess with it up, but like lucky and happy I got this experience as a 14 year old. There are cushions so that you can see over the top of the cowling. That will be important. It's actually like a real life experience and I can point out landmarks that I actually know. Hopefully they can find where they live. They can take a look at where our school is. It was tough going to work and knowing my baby was somewhere above me in the air, but we did great. I'm very proud of him. I was nervous to give consent for everything, and he was, he was ready to go. I was a nervous wreck because I don't like to fly, but he was all, let's go. It was great. Loved it every minute. I think it's my first time actually flying a real plane. That was pretty cool. I like kind of did like the steering and stuff. My biggest concern had been that they would like do too much. They would go too far, you know, be too abrupt. And they were great. And even one who was a little nervous, but just kind of stuck with it. Amazing. Seeing their faces when they got off the plane, I've never seen them light up like that. I was just smiling the whole plane ride. We are doing this, and it's really fun, and this is one of our passions. The first time I actually touched the controls, I got off the airplane and said, this is what I'm going to do for a living. And it was transformational for me. And I think I looked at a couple of these kids coming off the airplanes. It was transformational. This program really helped. Emil, especially to, to, to kind of develop further or more into, into, you know, young men. A lot of them found the field that they want to be in for the rest of their life. Thanks to us, Novello Airlines and Boy Scouts. You see where they were when they started, where they are today. They're inspired, they're excited, they're focused. It made me like more confident. He's more open. He's more Hey, Mom, well, when I went to Florida, we did this, so let's try it out here. I love this program. He is considering going to flight school. It's been a fantastic adventure. This program's opened up so many areas that I've never even thought about. It's given me so many opportunities to think about aviation. This program has 100% made me want to focus and be a pilot and work in the aviation industry. It's not just about flying, it's about, you know, the science of flying, learning about different opportunities that you can have within the flight industry. I think I will start studying more in like math and science because it's how this interested me so much. You can just see how much they've grown through the program. Actually flying planes after some of them had never been in a plane to begin with. I'm super proud of them. <laughs> like to just them. make the commitment to stick with all that the program has to offer. Their expectations today of what their lives can be, the things that happen in their lives, the potential. We blew the roof off of that. You know, there's no ceiling for them anymore. This program has inspired me to try new things. Someday, if they don't understand the magnitude of it right now, they can look back on it and understand this experience and perhaps how it shaped where they will be in the future in their lives. They all walk away with something that they didn't have before and that is an unbelievable sense of accomplishment and confidence that I could do anything.